one jared haas with frontstretch.com down here with noah gregson noah you were just recently elected as the most popular driver in the nascar xfinity series your reaction to that uh yeah i think it's pretty cool we've been uh really you know wanting to win that for a long time i feel like it's it's a pretty big deal in my opinion and um you know it's just a lot of support from the fans really and uh, driver intros seeing their cheers and um, they're pretty rowdy when, uh, you know, we walk out for driver intros and then, uh, you know, seeing the t-shirts and stuff, it's, uh, it definitely doesn't go unnoticed and really appreciate, you know, everyone's support. It's, it's really cool to, uh, yeah, to be that fan favorite. So, um, it's, uh, it's something that we work hard on and, uh, always try to take the time and, uh, you know, it, it shows. And then, like I said, it's been a very interesting Xfinity Series season. You started as kind of the quote-unquote black hat after Road America, and now you're voted as the most popular driver. What can you credit credit it to, you know, turning the fans' favor to become, you know, the most popular driver? Uh -huh, I don't know. I just try to be me. It, like, I don't really know if I've changed a whole lot since Road America. That was just an incident where you know, I made a mistake, but... I just try to always be me and just have as much fun as possible. That's that's kind of what our motto is as a, a number nine junior motorsports Bass Pro Shop team is, uh, you know, be prepared and, and do your job, but have as much fun as possible because you never know, uh, you know, when your last opportunity is going to be, you know, you, you never know what tomorrow holds. So um, I just try to enjoy it and, uh, you know, just have fun with it. And then you've talked about, you know, you've had a little bit of breathing issues during the races where at the end of the race you're throwing up and you said you were going to practice some breathing techniques during the off season. Were you able to do that at all? Uh, I haven't really. I've been kind of, kind of haven't really thought about racing a whole lot. Um, but once we get done with this week down here at the Snowball Derby, just, um, you know, get get up to the shop, get refocused on what needs to be done um, for next year. And um, I don't know why I was throwing up or what the reason is. Uh, still, probably gonna go see a doctor and just you know get, get a check up. But um, yeah, I really only what happened. I'd throw up, you know, when I'd win a race or something. I don't know if it's um, you know a combination of. Uh, the smoke in the car during the burnout if I'm holding my breath during you know the closing laps just trying to just trying to do it or um, you know what it is I got like a bad acid reflex um, and so that I don't know that's kind of come on in the last couple of years I don't, I don't really know exactly why but um, yeah I think I, I haven't pinpointed what it is it, um, it's not fun but if I'm throwing up it's because we're probably winning, and I'm okay with it if, if we're winning. And then, like I said, I want to look into the Snowball Derby. You weren't entered last year, but this year you were with uh, Rhett Jones in the num racing in the number 30 car. How did this opportunity come along? Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, Terry Jones and, and Casey Jones, uh, the whole Jones family, and then uh, Mark Rhett and, and the Rhett Jones racing team um, drove their pro lay ball down here last year. Um, Casey Jones on the on the quarter panels and and Jones demolition on the hood and um, they had a lot of fun Casey and Terry and the whole family and um, they said let's go let's go build a super so uh, I'm really thankful for the Jones family and, and Mark Rett and, and all these guys who, who are on these two cars this weekend it um, you know it takes a lot of effort. And, to be able to have an opportunity to just go have fun down here and try to get uh, the, you know the Red Jones Racing Team in Victory Lane, that's what uh, it's all about. So uh, it's pretty laid back, low key. Uh, it's not not too serious of a deal. Um, we just have been enjoying it so far. That's all, Greg. So thank you. Thanks. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the '56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those videos beside me and visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.